I forgot to put uh, lipstick on my lips. Hey, everybody. Oh, <laughs> welcome to Crochet Sister Chat with Tiffany and Cindy. I'm Cindy. I'm Tiffany's older sister. And she's been teaching me how to crochet for the last year. And she is the, Tiffany is the creative force behind Daisy Farm Crafts. So good morning, Tiffy. How are you? Good morning. Sorry, I was just saying I forgot to put lipstick on. I know, I was just have... feeling all professional, like we just need to move ahead, move ahead. Let's just do an intro and there. Oh, your lips. I'll just put some to... sparkle on. I'd, I would have to oh, leave please. and go sparkle. into the bathroom to grab some. I mean, so, I was burping before we came on and you were telling me I needed to lay off the cabbage. So <laughs> lay off that cabbage soup, man. Lay off that <laughs> menopause soup. <laughs> oh, well, the other thing that I discovered, because I've kind of been like doing like just vegetables and then I added in some cheese and some butter to this, to the mix and like almost died. <laughs> like my, my whole like digestive system rebelled. And so then I looked up another thing to look forward to in menopause, since I'm just, you know, I'm a few years ahead of you here, just letting you know what's coming. Thanks. That uh, lactose intolerance is the thing. Oh, interesting. So as, the, might... as the system starts shutting down, apparently you need hormones to, to digest milk and cheese and, and cheese okay and so that means and butter and i'm eating stuff. all the cheese i want right now then Toast. better yeah load up <laughs> i've been i've been eating cheese for years enjoying myself and now all of a sudden all of a sudden i can't tolerate cheese that's so not fair but it's okay i don't mind yeah. I'll eat cabbage I could... it's just one it's one gas or another the gas <laughs> that i get with the lactose intolerance is painful the one that i get with the cabbage is just obnoxious <laughs> Okay, thank you for sharing. <laughs> You're welcome. <gasps> oh my gosh. So, well, if you don't know, we actually do talk about crochet on this channel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we do eventually get around to crochet and look at all of these beautifully. That's, you had your organizers here. Tell us about I it. Did. She came yesterday and I'm gonna she, I tell you, I got a Oh, it is the best, best thing I do for myself ever, ever to keep this business running. Because look at, I mean, I had a, I had a two hour meeting last week with Yarnspirations and, um, we're trying to like come up with more curated boxes of color. And so I was like grabbing color, color, color. We're trying to, you know, design on the spot, try to get interesting things together, trying to get also maybe colors that were popular in the past into a thing. And, and I have some of those colors anyway, I, you know, but then, so it's got, gets a little bit messy, uh, but I didn't even have to worry about it. I put everything in a basket and then she came and reorganized all of it and it looked it's just it there is peace in organization i'm there telling is. you i love her mind i'm oh. looking at the at the color distribution that she's got going on behind you she has a very she likes the warm colors the cool mm -hmm. colors the transitional colors the neutral colors i mean that is just a joy to look at especially yeah. when you're designing because you can kind of like you know because yeah. when everything all like garbled up it's really hard to like it is you know. and she keeps it in uh, one thing I've told her is that we've still got it I don't mind that she does all the color things but it each row is the same brand of yarn so the brand like this is all the cotton that's bundle up up, uh, it's a little bit more bundle up, but do you know what I'm saying? The brands right, are all right. staying together because I, I can't just have it completely color. So uh, we t ended up taking out a lot. I had all the forever fleece. Look at that empty shelf. I love an empty shelf. Wow. Uh, that was full of forever fleece. And we ended up just putting it all for right now. And then you know because what? you're breaking I up sent all the You may need to go in the other room. You're breaking up. 
Dang it. Well, I get sent all of those samples. Am I? Yep. Pretty bad. You've frozen. <clears throat> so, hey, welcome everybody and thanks for, for joining us. And as always, we love you in the chat and we love your comments afterwards and we always read them. And, you know, Tiff and I, uh, just like the audience to listen to us yak about yarn and <laughs> did I come back on yet? Yes, you're back. Ah, I'm going to have to get a boost, an internet booster for that room, I guess. But in the day, I don't usually have, a, I have trouble. Uh, I wonder why that room. Yeah. It know. must be just because of the fact that we're streaming and maybe it takes more internet <laughs> something. So now we don't get my cute cute yarn wall behind now it's just <laughs> i know you've got to get one of those things that that our brothers got for mom when they were all hanging out there where they got those little towers that so that 20 people can stream at the same time yeah i know i need that okay i'll get that um oh i just forgot my crochet projects though in the other room i was going to show the new winterberry hat can yeah, you yeah get it and i'll put up while you're getting it i'm going to put up the your your instagram page So we have, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. So they put this. Mm. There we go. We could do a little bit better, I know, on our techiness, but here we go. So here is the gorgeous winterberry hat that has 620 pattern requests oh my gosh tiffany you're gonna have to you're gonna have to rethink that <laughs> well i love getting this is the thing when you instagram is so hard to figure out how to get to our website so i really don't mind doing it uh, up to about 500 <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's really taking it's really taking off right now so oh my gosh really because this is a great collaboration between me and you miss you know this is your <clears throat> kind of a take I was looking at it actually it's a take of the uh, oh gosh I think you called it Berry Ridge and your ridges are a little bit, you know, more spread out. I put them a lot closer together. Well, I'm so excited that you figured out ridges that don't cause the brain damage that the front post single crochet causes. Yeah. You know, that's 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 amazing. I mean, I they're not quite as defined as yours, but I think they do a good job. It makes oh, it a beautiful job. It yeah. looks absolutely adorable. I love it so much. Yeah. And this little detail that you added with the daisy. Oh my Isn't gosh. That's so adorable cute. Adorable. So I can't wait to go. So I made this for Kate <laughs> for uh, Thanksgiving because we're going up north in the mountains. And so I'm going to hopefully get a really cute uh, picture of her uh, uh, up there. So that's why I don't have a picture of baby Kate. But do you see baby Kate in the baby mod hat? Did we, we talked about that last week. Oh, yes. This I'm I showing love. my blowout. How yeah. fun is that? It just like, it sort of incorporates our love of our hair. <laughs> <laughs> Blow, giving, giving your little fluffy ball there a blowout. I gave her a blowout. So many people, well, several people had commented on Facebook and, uh, Instagram when I posted the mod hat yeah they were like Tiffany give that palm a, a blowout because I guess the mod hat one kind of looked smashed and it yeah. did it looked smashed and and I was like oh okay so then it worked so great I was like oh I've got to I've got to pass this tip along to everybody <sighs> I know. I am so excited to see what? that on, on our little Kate Tiffany. Oh my gosh. And then here's the, oh, can moment. you put that one on or is it going to mess your hair up? Oh, it won't mess my hair up. I am trying to find the back of it. Okay. Here's, well, I got to put my ponytail down. What do you think? Oh my gosh, Tiffany. 
That is so adorable. Did Hannah give it the the anthropology seal of approval? Yes, anth- yes, anthropology seal of approval. So did Annie. Annie wants to take this up to Sholo. She's like, oh, this will be perfect for golf. <gasps> that is so you know what? And, and hats don't actually look that great on me. I have an incredibly short forehead. So that's why hats are like always like this on me. I have what a are you very talking short... about? It's gorgeous. You have a very short hat. forehead. I'm not listening to you. You're <laughs> it's cute. Yes. Well, I have, I, can you see this? My, I'm getting a receding forehead. Yet another thing to look forward to in menopause is your hair will start falling out in handfuls. So there you go. There you Once go. you stop getting the hot flashes then the hair just starts falling out. Oh my God. And then you can burp while you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> but, but uh, I, I, what was the other, you said the baby mod hat. We got to look at that one too. Okay. I think we talked about baby mod hat last, last time, but I'm just going to say that that's, it was the baby mod hat that has a smushed pom-pom that yeah. the uh, people left me a comment and, and it said, uh, I think you got to pitch the X. Oh, there we go. Yeah. See the mod. It's oh, she's there. That's right. We did talk about baby mod yeah. and that adorable little, little jean jacket action you got going for there. And I can see the pom-pom is smushed. Yes. Whereas yeah. the pom-poms here are not smushed. That's right. <laughs> you got to give them a blowout. Le- lesson learned. Lesson learned. And then you've got your absolutely fantastic. That's a pattern that Hannah did last year. We just, that was a reshare. Is that but berries really or is to that? Try and pull out patterns, you know, from the past that, uh, that get buried on the website. You know how it is. It's so hard to find stuff. <clears throat> Even if you're on Pinterest and, and whatever, you know, it's a search. So we like to just kind of resurface a bunch of the holiday ideas. And here we are at, at uh, Tiffany's fantastic um, daisyfarmcrafts.com website that if you are not subscribed to, you should not pass go and go immediately and subscribe because she sends out patterns every week, free patterns, links. And that's so much easier to link to the pattern through uh, her, her email than it is through Instagram. <laughs> Okay. So do you see that? Yeah. Show people, do you see that little button in the top right hand corner that says subscribe? No. Oh, do you know why? Because we're on top of it. There no, we no, go. no, 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 uh, no, right there. Right there. Right there. Subscribe. Okay. There if you, you push go. that while you're on my website, put you sign up for your email. Cute. I have not seen that blanket before. Yeah. That's oh. a while ago. My gosh, that is adorable. Um, okay, so week, you join Daisy Farm Crafts here, right? Yes, that's you where do. you. Yep. This and week. if you do that, every time we publish a new pattern, the pattern comes into your email, and it's a very simple email. Did you get your email this morning? Yes. Do you yes. want to show them what it looks like? I mean, it's very basic. It's not like we're inundating you with tons of text. It's just. I might have to, I might have to look for a minute. Okay. It, okay. We just have, we just send, I think it's a beautiful little email and you just, it, it, you do send out gorgeous emails. There is no question much. about it. Yeah. Except I don't know which of my many email accounts it comes to. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm it may not be on here. It may not Wait, be on. I might be able to find oh, here it. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. I found it. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> Where am I? Here we go. Share screen. So here it comes right to your email, Days Farm mm-hmm. Crafts. There it is. And there it is. And you get the, and you, then you just click on the picture and it takes you right to the website. Open. Well, no, no, not the picture. Go down where it says view the post. That's oh, what you click. Sorry. There. If you click don't that. click on the picture, you click on view the post and then it takes you right to the pattern. Yeah. It's just wonderful. And here's the pattern. And then at the bottom, oh, look, you put that in there. Yeah. Because that that's the blanket. That's what I'm saying. It's based on this blanket. 
So and what do you so, think? I mean, we did a pretty, you know, pretty close. It was inspired by. Inspired. And that's, that's how this all works is the inspiration yeah. is just flowing. But then you, so you have the pattern that you can follow here. Mm-hmm. And then our wonderful Haley, who is in the comments and who is providing our links. And she makes these amazing PDFs. So if you're the type of person that likes to have it on your phone or you want to print it out. There right you there. go. Right there. There you go. There it is. Yeah. So. Ah, so. I did that. I did that today or yesterday, whatever. I feel like whenever I get a pattern out the door, then I'm like, oh, worked. Now well, and shopping. now we're just like a week, a week before now we're into the holidays. And now we are way into the holidays. So Hannah is trying, she will be, okay. Hannah has a blanket that's coming out this week. You have a blanket or a scarf coming out this week, which scarf scarf okay yeah. Yeah, hopefully this week or first part of next week hannah is then designing currently a new holiday hot pad i am currently making our a winter wonderland sweater for baby kate and um then i've got disneyland blanket <laughs> that i'm still working on and so you're oh yes we got some comments on that that it's like go for it and definitely there was some interest in in if you make it into a backpack too yeah i saw that but i think i'm too i'm too far i'm too far into it now it's going to just be the stroller blanket so we will look fantastic walking around the park always mm-hmm. with our disneyland you know little little blanket but yeah i really i'm i'm liking it the kids really liked it as a blanket too elizabeth was like yeah let's do that because you know how we're going to be outdoors all day it could be and it'll be chilly i think a little i'm bit. excited to see how it photographs i i mean because from my vantage point here that is so cool i mean just the the whole graphic you know fabric kind of design mm-hmm. of it i really love it so i think having it as a stroller blanket you know and sort of like it in the picture I, with the little, you know, the Disneyland happenings. I think it's going to be really cute. Yeah. I love it. So, I'm going to finish that up. And then, um, gosh, I think, oh, handy, hand, I might make a, a, a hot pad too. But then that's it. It's the holidays. <laughs> no, <it. laughs> no, no, I don't ever say that's it. I, who knows? Something <laughs> always pops into my head and I'm like, oh, I got to make this for this. And then I'm always just doing something. So always doing something. But I do have to really start getting ready, honestly, for Hannah's baby. So probably after all those projects I just named, I have got to start making her blessing blanket the hospital blanket, you know, things right. to go. With so we have bust that blessing blanket for several different times and you still have not decided. Are you just going I'm, to surprise us? No, I think I'm going to try and replicate the blessing blanket mom made for him. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Try. I'll try. Let's hope. But the reason why I want to do, um, just more like companion blankets to go with all those beautiful gowns is so that we can photograph. I, one thing we have learned with, with even just baby Kate, the time, just that newborn stage, they're just growing so fast. You miss it. If you don't take a picture almost every other day, then you you just missed it. You know, I know. I it's know really, it, just, it goes by really fast. So I, re- I remember I was such an idiot. I mean, I, I probably haven't evolved much past idiot, but when, when Madeline was born, I was like, they, you know, they take a, they take a picture right away, you know, and then you know, it's sort of like on a ride at Disneyland, you know, how they take your picture and then they put, then it's for sale and whatever, you know, that they take it right. And, and I was like, well, what if I don't like them? What if I don't like the pictures? <laughs> and then it kind of like got in my that I was like, wait a minute, she's never gonna be like one minute old again. It, like 
this is like, there isn't taking another picture. It's like, it's no. that one. It's that one. That's you gotta it. Just then take she's going to be completely different tomorrow. And exactly. then completely different again, especially those first, that first couple weeks as they wake up and unwrinkle <laughs> their heads, you know, get round and all of those things. It's just, you know, that is sort of, it's like they're, they're blooming that whole year. And then it, I mean, it still goes really fast. I can't believe my baby's 30, <laughs> but I know. I know. I know. I know. I think you do an amazing my... job of documenting those babies though. I mean, that little picture that you got of Kate Tiffany with the cute little bonnet and her little hands. Oh, so. I told I told Hannah we've got to start finding a photographer to do a six week that uh, Kate was six weeks when we did those. And I want to make a bon I want to make a bonnet for for baby who knows what her name is, Mar Margo Maud <laughs> right now. Margo. Margo Maud. We got I've got I've got more uh we're naming all, all these projects right now, all the po potential names that the baby will be. Isn't that so fun? I love it. And it's like it's making it just come to mind immediately. I know exactly which blanket you're talking about. You know, I know. Yeah. It's good, yeah. good idea. I love it. I'll probably design the bonnet for her after she's born so I can call it her official name, whatever. But um, anyway, anyway, yeah, I'm going to hopefully force Hannah to do that. See, because we didn't do that with the boys. Jack doesn't have, we, I mean, I took pictures of Jack, obviously a lot of Jack. I took a lot, as many as I could of James. Uh, I've got one of my very favorite ones is James. And I, he was in my, I was holding him in my lap and it is my very favorite picture of him. Um, he was probably about six weeks old, but I do you're it's true. I love having the professional ones done. So let me show you this one, this one. Oh, well, I could show you both. Oh, yes. I love that picture. Oh, and then this is the one of Kate that we're talking about. Oh, Tim. Isn't that just so precious. So that precious. is just that I'm just, I just precious. Oh, that little girl. You've got to, so you've got to go to the next level and like, you know, get them blown up and printed out and put them on your, on your uh, nursery room, you know. I, yeah, I do. Have it's you ever seen this one of Jack? That's Jack. Yes. With that little foot. That was the, with the brown hat controversy. <laughs> yeah. The poo hat. <laughs> the girls are like, we don't crochet with brown. It looks like poop. <laughs> <laughs> see they'll tell me oh that's oh, jack oh that is so cute that's yeah, big see, jack. so i guess i did get only, one of jack i mean it's like it's like you you do full performance art tiffany i mean not only do you make the beautiful things design the beautiful things then you put them on the little children and take these amazing photographs that's little jack and we put him on the cover of the pattern book yeah. And now but that, anyway, that's what I'm saying. I've got, I, I just want to make sure I'm so prepared with little blankets for, um, uh, for her so that we can get all these great shots. <laughs> so, so we can get all these. Great it's a, it's an excellent goal. I think you could put it on a book, you know, after, after all the grandchildren have, you know, come and are through their babyhood, you should, you could do a, with all of your photographs, you know, one of those like Ann Getty books of just all the pictures of your, of your grandbabies when they were little. Grandbabies, grandbabies dripping in crochet. Dripping in crochet. Adorable crochet. Dripping in in crochet. photography. Well, I have to agree with you. I totally love photographing crochet. There is just something about how it catches the light and the patterns that it's like, it's really satisfying to look at. And, and of course, you know, not only have I learned from you crochet, I definitely have learned photographing crochet from you, like, you know, studying how you do it and everything. And, you know, one thing you always told me is natural light, natural light, natural light. You always have to have natural light because the way that the sun plays on the, on the patterns is you just, you cannot replicate that with artificial light. Mm -hmm. No, I think the artificial light reflects weird on it anyway. 
It does. I don't know what it is, but I can I mean, it just looks dead in, in artificial light, but with sunlight, it just comes alive. It's so yeah. beautiful. Lately, I've been even, we've, uh, some of our photographs, uh, I've been taking them somewhere between three and five o'clock and it's the sun kind of like the late afternoon sun, but, um, the golden hour, the golden hour. Yeah. It's beautiful. And even if, even if my room doesn't have a ton of light, these new phones, like I only take pictures with my iPhone too. People which, ask me all the time. Which iPhone do you have right now? I have the 13 pro. I'm the, I'm at, I'm at the 12 and I'm not pro, but I, I'm thinking we're going to upgrade at Christmas time to the 15 pro pro make sure you get a pro pro makes a big difference and um but uh yeah even if the pictures are a little bit dark the editing I, you know i can edit them a little bit better too i mean i am editing they're not natural coming out but you just right. brighten them up a little bit and stuff. yeah just bright yeah just depending you just brighten them up you just brighten them up but thank you i do i think that is my other favorite thing to do is take pictures i've always loved taking pictures well, it Especially is, my kids. it is the best way to like preserve the moment, you know, the, yeah. the creation, you know, it's sort of like the culmination of all the work that's gone into it and, and, you know, recording those cute little babies before they're all grown up. So what do you have uh, going on? All right. So, <clears throat> all right. We have, we're talking before that we this is kind of our, this is our show. We're going to kind of wrap up sister chat for right now and maybe not come back until January just because the holidays and everything and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to give you your Christmas present right now. Oh, okay. Well, geez, exciting. So here we go. Oh, wow. Cindy, Hi. that is amazing. I made you your old lady shawl. I've got hey. my old lady shawl. Yeah, so you can sit in your rocking chair and you can be wrapped in a hug from your older sister. Oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? So oh. you, can, you can just wear it. And I made it nice and extra long since yes. you're like, you know, three I'm tall. taller than I am. So yes. And I decided not to put, I decided just to go ahead with the, with the Picos on the end. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. What a variation of Maggie. And, and I, what I love is that I'll know it's a variation of Maggie's throw. Yep. Maggie's oh, throw. Cindy, that is beautiful. So oh there. my gosh. What, all of what your, all of your, all of your sharing with me on how to crochet. Oh my gosh, Cindy, come cool. on. You are so talented. Yeah. You are amazing. That you taught me. I know, but I knew that you would be, I knew this was, this was your wheelhouse. You can take, ah, uh, and it's really pretty beginner. I, I mean, I still would say this is beginner friendly. Okay. Absolutely. The only thing is, is the yes. first five rows you got to be paying attention. Yeah, you got to count. You got to get that. Like, so what I did with the initial chain, because this is 85 inches and you have to have a multiple of 12. Yes. So it must be an accurate count. Okay. And so doing the chain probably took me maybe a couple days, you know, just <laughs> because I had to go through... Yeah. I measured it. And, and my strategy finally was I counted 12 and put a stitch marker in yes. the entire chain. And so okay. then when I got, and I started at the, at this end with the knot in it and then went to the crochet end. And that way I could just add or subtract a couple and have an exact count. Good. It took me a minute to figure out how to do that. Yeah. Oh, so you once I had stitch marker, exact... though. wait, what? you learned stitch markers that I thought that that was a, you know, yeah, I did actually have a good use for stitch markers and it ended up working out. Although I have to say, so when I came back after I'd put all the 12 of the stitch markers, I thought the 12 would be at the 
at the twelfth spot on the way back, and it's not. It, it's it's on the. <laughs> Well, because my brain, about my it. math brain could not, I couldn't figure okay. it out. It takes a minute to understand this, but technically when you start, you're putting it on the 12th chain. Yes. So, but when you go back, that means there's 11 left to go. It's like, you have to count backwards, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So there's really 11 and 11. Yeah. So even though I knew I had, I had. Counted. But it's okay. It's, Multiple of 12, it will it work. It wasn't in the it wasn't in the spot where I thought it would be, but I still and then my next strategy for making sure, you know, I got the first, you know, however four or five rows correct was I was always I so each section is, you know, uh 10 in the in this part. Mm -hmm. So each one of those sections is 10 double crochets. And mm -hmm. so I always went back and make sure that I counted 10 Yes, because if I did not, and I got lazy or whatever, I would absolutely add or drop a stitch and then, and not see it for rows and rows. And so I was like, okay, no, I am going to count every time I do a 10 section. Mm -hmm. So other than that, it actually, for as big as it is, because I have so much of this open here, it actually doesn't take that long to crochet. I mean, it took me a week mm -hmm. of crocheting 10 hours a day, but. Let's talk about that yarn. That yarn. Yes. What do it's you think? It's so beautiful. Yeah. And it's got such lovely drape. And I went ahead and I, I you know, uh, washed it and put it in the dryer because I want it to be nice and clean for you and smell nice and everything, you know, after having been working on it for a while. But anyway, beautiful, just washes up beautifully. So easy to work with. I love it. Bernat, Bernat is softy Bernat. cotton. Bernat softy cotton. It's a three weight. I have fallen in love with it. I use it uh, so much for the kids. It washes up great. I even made baby bibs and the kids have spilled their baby food on it and I've tossed it into the wash and they come clean. Right. Because it is not a hundred percent cotton. Mm -hmm. It is a, it is a cotton uh, acrylic mm -hmm. blend, which just is perfect for yeah. washing and for, and for wearing, you know, cause it just gives it that really nice drape because cotton, just a hundred percent cotton can be a little squeaky and, and stiff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Really stiff and it can hurt your hand. That's why I, I like uh, using the softy cotton. It's just easy. Oh, thank you. Oh, welcome. So I'm going to wrap it up and send it to you. I took a couple pictures of it. Did you take I one need... of your, yourself wrapped up in it like no, that? No, I need you to take pictures of you wrapped up in it. You do a photo style. You don't have to put your face in it or whatever, but you know, it's your, uh, you know, like have Annie take a picture from the back or something, you know, put okay. something really cute, but I think we should have a picture of you. I know. I, yeah, maybe it'll be good for the new year. We need all new updated photos on the website anyway. Yeah. I think it'd be, I think it'd be really cute. So anyway, and it, it is, since it's so long, I, I really need you to photograph it. Cause I have no idea how to photograph it. Okay. Okay. I've been trying to do like put it around on other, but I need your expertise on this. Okay. Or I could go to Hannah and have her photograph. We it. could try have it have a try Hannah first and then send it to me. But, but I was gonna wrap one it more up. time. Hold it up one more time. I really want to see how you did those. The the design element of it is just incredible. So it's like you bordered it with the blocks of 10 and then put the blocks of two by two. Yep. two by 12 two, two by, by 10 three. so it's three of the oh three rows of the open stitches three rows of the open stitches by two rows of the uh, alternating double crochet stitches so i mean i don't know which do you see do you see the solid or do you see the open oh it depends yeah i see this i mean both you know what else i hate to say this would be another gorgeous thing though that would be a gorgeous table runner table runner or curtain and you are absolutely welcome to use it as a table runner if you prefer until I get to my old age yeah <laughs> until I am on the porch I mean I think actually it is a gorgeous table runner I thought about that too I mean it 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 does have a home decor a little bit feel to it but I think it still works as a shawl yeah I do too 
I mean, how would you how would you market the pattern? Would you market it as a shawl or is it home decor? I want them. I um, I don't know. It looks so good. Do prayer, prayer, little prayer, prayer shawl. Prayer shawl. We we don't have any prayer shawls at all on the website. You know, I think for I think I might modify it to make it a little bit shorter instead of doing. I think I did eighty five, maybe ninety inches on this. I well, it'll be interesting when I get it home and I wrap it around me, I'll see how it goes being a tall person. I wonder if I'll, I'll research, you know, cause they say like for scarves, make the scarf, the height of the person. And that gives it so that you can wrap it or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But some people have emailed me and say, I make it six inches more, the height of the person plus six. So, it's, yeah, it so everybody right. can make, you can make it whatever you want. I mean, but this is a fun way to crochet. I like these really big open. Yeah. Spaces, you know, doing the pattern with the big open spaces. I love it. That's so beautiful. Yeah. That it's filet cro crochet. There's, you know, didn't you say you looked it up and you saw other different designs? Yeah. I, I didn't see anybody doing it this big, but I'm sure they do. I, I mean, I really, as I was doing, I was like, oh yeah, this is how you would make curtains. This could be, I actually, if I were to make curtains, I would even want to find a finer yeah, uh, thread, I guess, it would, or yarn. Crochet, you'd probably go to the crochet thread at that the, point. Yeah, to the crochet thread and like maybe, because I did this with a five millimeter hook and like go down to maybe even a three or mm -hmm. something, you know, and do yeah. some, I'm sure that's how they do the Irish lace and all of that. I mean, it's a different, it's sort of like, I, you know, it's kind of funny, you know, having explored the spectrum from really big, my big crochet hooks, and now moving down to the, to the little crochet hooks. And, and I guess I thought that it would be, um, take longer, but not necessarily be, if you had that much open space in, it's not like you're doing a solid piece mm -hmm. like you are with the bigger crochet. So I don't know. It was fun. So this is yours. Yay. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. That is so gorgeous. So beautiful. And then I, uh, I finished this. And so I started working on the, now you called it the boxed block. I, yes, we gave you the, <laughs> Hannah and I came up with this assignment for Cindy, try and learn the boxed block stitch and really since she was doing all of those double crochets i, I it is a nice kind of variation of it so it's single crochet double crochet right yeah no wait what are you doing uh oh this box? is not the box block let me see i'm doing the one that you had that was the michael kors was the inspiration oh the no that's not box block oh hannah had you do the oh that's just griddle stitch oh this is called a griddle stitch all right, right. So then, all right, sorry. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing a griddle stitch. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Hannah gave you, gave you that scarf. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to be making. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, maybe I'll give him. Well, do you still want to learn the boxed block? Yeah, that's a, I've got another project basket going. Oh, so okay. I, there was, I, I've got this one and another one. Oh, okay. I'll, the other I'll, one I'll, must be the box block. So yeah. this is this third. one's going to be really cool, though. We have not made this scarf, and we want to do it in updated colors, because the original we weren't with Yarn Inspirations yet, and so we wanted to use Peyton's. Is, are you using Peyton's Canadiana? Yes. And this what do you think about Peyton's Canadiana? So I did. I did get to work with it when I did that really cool crunch stitch scarf that Hannah had me do, and so I absolutely love it. I right. think it's it's really a beautiful blend. Now this is this a wool blend? Is this a no? Wool? It's no? it's one hundred percent acrylic, but to me, it is like top of the line acrylic. I mean, acrylic is generally an affordable yarn always it, but there are different level this one is very very nicely done and it has bounce so that's why i used it for these hat i use it for these hats because they're just they they give it a little bit more stretch than and bounce and so like they bounce back into uh into shape yeah and they and they what look how beautiful the stitch looks it's gorgeous yeah. In, in the yarn. I really, really love what, it. What stitch hook did you use? What size did you so use? So I, I, 
you went up impressed too. I actually read your pattern and followed it. And so I used what you suggested, which was a six or a, uh, M no, I can't see the letter. Six is a K. I believe 5.5 is I wait, A, B, C, D, E, F, I, J. It should be a J. Good Six heavens. Dollars. I cannot see a J. On. I know. I'm pretty sure that's the J because it's gold. Is that the gold? Oh, all I can see is six. So okay. yeah, that's a J. <gasps> yeah. What do you think? I use the H on these, but I was doing, but hats, I like to keep it really tight because of stretch, but a scarf. How's the drape? You like it? Beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. That's gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh, that pattern redone is going to be so pretty. Are you going to follow it exactly and do the little? Yeah, I'm okay. following. Yep, you've got it all written out. How many rows? I'm, I am following a pattern. <laughs> this is good news. I, I know it's a huge accomplishment on my part to like. It's like, oh, I can do this. I can understand it. And I have to say, you even though you said. Is this not been on the site or it's uh, kind of buried? It's one of my site? very, very first patterns that I ever wrote. I haven't. And you know, I can kind of tell because it's like very casual and, and because it's so casual, I totally can understand it. Like the one most important thing that you put in there is like the first stitch, you work a single crochet into a double and the last stitch, you always work a double into a single. And so that way, because of course, I have to admit that I did try to start crocheting it without reading the pattern. <laughs> Some of us are built that way. You have to start it's okay. It's Some okay. of us are built that way. That's just and I knew part. that it was going horribly wrong, and so then I had to go back and re and you know that 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 one instruction was so important because then that made the whole pattern make sense. Yes. Yeah. It's the grail stitch. Yeah. That's good. Yay. She followed instructions. <laughs> do it. I can do it. Yay. Everybody can learn. Even at my, why life. do we have these? Little, I'm trying to think though, like I have personality things too. When I, 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 I wrote that post a couple of weeks ago about the three habits that made me a better crocheter. I reshared <laughs> it. I wrote it a while ago and reshared. Yeah. Did you happen yeah. to read it? I did not. What is it? Well, the third habit is, uh, that I've really worked on is to undo my work as soon as I see a mistake. And you know, the same thing, I still have a hard time with that. Just, oh, because you've got to have the whole conversation. Well, do I really need to do it? Could I hide it? Is it going to be? No. Yeah. I justify or whatever. And that's part of me. And at the end of that post, I pontificate on how so real life, so many situations in my life, I am still like that. Hanging a picture on the wall. It's a little bit crooked. Uh, isn't it okay? I'll live with it for a few days before I finally take the dumb thing down and fix it. <laughs> like stupid things like that. So that must be my personality. Like, just the way I am. Whereas I'm saying that you just love to just dive right in thinking that, you know, and then you just, you're like, Oh, I got to read. Okay. I got to read. I don't know. And then we're so much happier. Why are we like this? Why are we like this? I don't know. Maybe we got dropped on our head. <laughs> we have a streak of stubborn. We do have a streak of stubborn or something. I well, know. well, okay. So when you say stubborn, that would be our father. So well, you let's know. blame him. <laughs> and we can blame him. And we can probably blame mom too. They both are <laughs> really stubborn. I mean, those, I mean, oh my goodness. I, I talked to Natalie yesterday. Oh, who is our baby sister? I did too. She's the baby baby. And she, she said she's doing a little crocheting. Yes. Yes. What is I, she's a farm hand. She, she wanted a little, she's a farm hand. She wanted to do some farm. You know, I think it's good for her too. I mean, I just, it, she's busy with all those kids. Crochet will just get you to calm down and focus and be able to do something for yourself. She, I'm giving her the, uh, she's learning shell stitch. Oh, nice. And I sent her burnout softy cotton. 
and she's fallen in love with Bernat Softy Cotton. So very nice. So I, yeah, I was excited. Well, I, in fact, I said, well, you should come and chat with us tomorrow. We'll just patch you in. But she said that she had to take Sadie to a doctor's appointment or something. Oh, I, I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she does. She yeah. couldn't do it. But I said, well, you just got it. You know, anytime you're available, you got to hop on with us and tell us about your crochet. Cause you know, we yeah, want to, why did I not even think of that? I should have thought of that. That's true. But but anyway, her and I were talking yesterday about how stubborn our parents are. They're just, you know, and they just get more stubborn with eight. You know, our sassy little mama, she's headed off for a cruise. She doesn't care. Did she, did she leave? In January, yeah. she's got two cruises planned. In yeah. January, she's going with her, with her, you know, her, her girl friend group. From from church, and then she's going to go on one. Do you remember with Pauline and Mary? They're going for their 80th birthdays. I love it. I love it. I mean, come on, that's the, I do admire her. That, but all the 80 year olds are cruising. It's a great vacation for them. It's really handy because they feed you. You make sure they make sure you're safe. It's a small little boat. You don't have to. You know walk endlessly they can take a nap and sleep in and they and can gamble <laughs> which we know our mama likes a little gambling <laughs> she, she, she gets on that bus and she heads up to to blackhawk every now and again to you know <laughs> cozy up to one of those one-armed bandits i know i love that about her don't you think that's so great and she always wins that's the thing yes. is she always wins she's got the best luck but we do have a gambling mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we I'm glad we brought that up. So when our future, we were just talking last week about how we are thrilled that we do sister chat because our hope is that our children will eventually pull these things up when we're long Someday gone. Someday when we're long, long gone. Long yeah. gone. And now the little grandchildren who are watching this, little Jack, what? Grandma, Jen, great grandma, Jen. grandma Janet was a gambler. <laughs> Loved the slots. She will, yeah. She has her limits. It's not like she's an addicted gambler. She just loves to do it. Well, that we know of. <laughs> no, nobody can. I, I, I've, I've actually sort of worried that somebody might show her how to do it on her phone. Oh. You know? Yeah. But fortunately, she's just technology not comfortable enough. Yeah. Like she still really doesn't know how to send a text reliably. She yeah. really doesn't know how to answer the phone reliably. No, no. So my girls were kidding. laughing the other day. She was she was putting t t something text messages or 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 saying things in her Instagram stories that you're like. I don't think she knows what she's doing. There you go. See? Instagram <laughs> stories. The kids were sending me screenshots. Grandma put this in her Instagram story. And it was like something she was looking at in a catalog. Or I don't know how she got the picture saved. She probably pushed a button and didn't realize what she was doing and ended up. Yeah. Yeah. It could happen. Definitely. Yeah. So hopefully none of the grandchildren, because, you know, she doesn't have sovereignty over her phone. The minute a grandchild hits that house, somebody, you know, takes hops her on her to takes her phone from her. Yeah. So there's all kinds of stuff installed on there. On that phone, who knows what she's doing? No, I who love knows? it. But fortunately, none of the grandchildren have installed gambling apps. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's hope they don't do that for <laughs> oh my gosh that's so funny so i think we're we're wrapping up tiff we're coming on to oh, our what i How? know what we just were chatting we, we chat a lot did we talk about crochet we did did yeah we talked about crochet we did so crochet. what so our plan then is next week is thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving everybody enjoy your meals and your families and all of that stuff and then then we're you know headlong into christmas so whether or not we have another sister chat we're not sure until after the first year yeah we have we're leaving the door open for a possible 
Christmas episode, maybe, but maybe not. So you might see us one time. Maybe we'll come up with some special idea. You know, sometimes both of us are on Instagram and both of us. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. So our cousin, Candon, who you may have seen in Tiffany's Instagram stories or in mine, I think I did one too. She knits and she designs these incredible um uh, Christmas stockings with these, like, I don't know. I think I was telling her, I think they kind of look like Williamsburg kind of colonial American Americana Mm -hmm. motifs on these stockings. And they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, she's done the font and the everything on it. So if you're, you are a knitter or, you know, somebody who, who is a knitter, they would probably really enjoy following Candid. So I, I talked to Cannon and had a Zoom call with her that I am going to edit because we ended up talking for like four hours. <laughs> but we're that that um I'm gonna put on my YouTube channel. So point being, I'm gonna put some things on YouTube. I might, I I don't know. Do you think I should do a tutorial for that? I don't know. I don't for the for your for your old lady shawl that I mentioned. Absolutely. If you should, yes. Do a tutorial for that. So, okay. So I might put that up then a tutorial, but I need you to do photographs though, hopefully, or Hannah or somebody. Okay. Um, You can take it over to Hannah and have her do some, at least just start the basic ones before you start. Okay. And, and then of course, Tiffany is going to be doing her regular posting and patterns and updates and all of that stuff. Yeah. Throughout, Right. You don't, you don't have a posting what, do you not post like the last two weeks or something of Christmas or? I mean, we'll probably repost. It depends on how how busy I am, but yeah, we'll, we usually take from Christmas to New Year's off. And Christmas take a little break. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Christmas to New Year's, but run a few things. But then, because crochet season does not end, I mean, it takes a tiny little bear- break. But everybody seems to get yarn for Christmas, and then they're home, and you know, in January is a big month for getting, getting stuff done. Well, so. cause it's actually, we're just, you know, just starting the winter season. So everybody needs a blankie and a scarf and a hat and some mittens to snuggle up and yeah. And it's, uh, off I'm go. finding though that actually more and more people just really keep a project going all year round, which I love. I mean, I do think it's gaining in popularity again. People are realizing that it's a great thing to do while you watch TV and, uh, and it, and it really is. So I don't know, I'm just going to keep making stuff. So I'm right there with you. I just post what I make, what, you know, what I don't, I don't really have a plan of what I'm going to make uh, too much, but we'll see. Okay. Well, I'm so sorry. My internet, uh, maybe by the new year, that's what I'll ask for Christmas. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Booster. <that's a> <laughs> something. All right, everybody. We love you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your stuff with us. And, you know, if you want to come over to sugar joy, join my channel there or uh, sugar joy crochet on Instagram. That's where you'll find us. Yay. Love you, sis. Love you. Bye-bye. See you.